Alright guys, welcome to a new video. In this video we're playing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus and I'll be showing you guys how to spawn any item in the game using a program called Cheat Engine. I got a lot of requests to make this video because the old method no longer works. So here we are. Firstly, you're going to go to the first link in the description to the Cheat Engine website and you want to download the latest version here. I'll go through the install process with you guys this time because I've had a lot of comments saying oh it's a virus. It says on their websites here that some stricter antiviruses or say it's a virus. I've got McAfee here and it doesn't trigger it at all so you'll have to turn your uh, antivirus off if yours triggers it as a warning. I just want to install it like you would normally. Next. I agree. Next. 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 And once you get to this bit it's trying to install some like bullshit freeware. Press click here to customize the installation and untick the box. And same with the thing on the right. And then press next. Hit install. Next. And then you can just untick the boxes, finish. And that's it done. G Engine is installed. Now you're going to go to the second link in the description, which is a download link. It's the uh, save file for Cheat Engine, ctabplus.ct. Just download that. I've moved it onto the desktop here. And then you want to just open that, which will open up Cheat Engine for you. And then you're going to go and open up your Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus game as well. Don't want it to be that big, we'll <laughs> make that a bit smaller for you guys, so you can see both my screens at once. So once you have the game open, just go ahead and start up a run. I'm going to go on greed mode just so I can get to an item pedestal quickly. And just go ahead and go into an item room as well. So now that you're here, you want to go onto Cheat Engine and press the computer in the top left, select the process to open, and then find your binding of Isaac.exe process and press open. Press yes. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Now in the bottom boxes here for the table, you want to go into enable, scripts, pedestal script. And then the fourth option down, pick pedestal item, you want to tick the box and in the value table, double click it. And this should open up a drop down menu which has every item in the game in it. So whichever item you want, just click in this drop down menu. So let's go for goat head here, press OK. Go back onto Binding of Isaac and walk into the pedestal. Despite the item looking like, I don't know what that is, a bread, <laughs> you walk into it and it's goat head. And now you can see we have goat head equipped. If you want a different item, go back into Cheat Engine, double click the value box again, and find the item you want in the drop down list. So, BFFs, your friend's rule, okay. Walk into the item pedestal, even though it's empty when you hit it, you can see BFFs pops up and we have BFFs in our inventory. You can actually pick up the same item multiple times if you want. So, Robo Baby 2.0, that's a familiar. If you walk into it, here he is, Robo Baby. You can keep walking into it over and over again if you would like to, and just get as many Robo Babies as you want. And that's pretty much the gist of it. It's a way easier method than it used to be, as you guys may know. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.